Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today, talking about changes to the capital gains taxes. Hi, Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'm gonna to share some changes that may be coming to the capital gains tax rates. So obviously there's always change happening with the tax codes and this time is no different. Um, so currently, just to give you some background information, the current tax rates for your primary residence, if you were to sell, would be that you would get $250,000 tax-free if you're an individual or 500,000 for a married couple. So that's great news, especially in a rapidly appreciating market. So if you bought your home for 500,000 as a couple, and then you go to sell your home for a million dollars, then you get that gain completely tax-free. Exciting news. Now, the other thing that currently exists is a step up in basis. So if one of the partners were to pass away, then the new basis for that new, for the surviving spouse would now have that new basis at the time of their passing. Now, what does that mean? It's basically the value of that property for their portion when they pass away is at that higher level from when they passed away. So that's great news for people, especially if we've lived in their homes for 30, 40, 50 years. And again, we've had a rapidly appreciating market to help, uh, help the surviving spouse. The other kind of capital gains tax issues that we see in real estate is with investment properties. Now, obviously, if you purchase an investment property and then just sell it, you will pay capital gains tax on any gain that you make on that property. The other option is to roll that money from one property into another using what's called a 1031 exchange. It means that you have to purchase another investment property of similar quality, if it's a vacation home or a, a income property like a duplex, triplex, fourplex, and roll that money into another similar property of equal or greater value. So this can be a great way to defer any capital gains until you ultimately sell that property at the end of, at the end of that chain. Now, what changes may be coming? The Biden administration has rolled out some tax plan changes that I wanna outline here for you. So good news is no changes are being proposed for primary residences. So you still get the 250,000 for individual and $500,000 of capital gains tax-free. They are discussing removing the step up in basis. So that can make a huge difference for people who are transferring property intergenerationally or just within a married couple spouse. Also, 1031 exchanges are also on the chopping block right now. So especially for over $500,000 in gain. So if you have an investment property that has had a significant increase in value and you're thinking about rolling that money into another property, it may be a good time to explore that sooner rather than later before this tax law changes. If they do cap it at $500,000 in gain, you would not be able to take advantage of it over that value. If you have any questions about this or how it may affect you, feel free to reach out. You can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Please feel free to forward and share this with your friends and thank you so much for watching.